and welcome to this week's Eagle News. I'm Jenna Peoples. And I'm Chloe Kilday. And let's get into the news. This week is an academic study session. That means if you need to work on work for another class, be sure to get a pass from your teacher. Or if you have a white card, you can feel free to leave during Eagle time. And now let's go to Kellen and Logan to see this week's sports updates. Welcome to this week's edition of Crunch Time. I'm Kellen Stevens. I'm Logan Long. And this is your sports recap of the week. First, I'll be covering what's going on in the world of the MLB, which is currently in their playoffs. They're in their championship series, just a couple games away from the World Series. The Houston Astros currently have a 3-2 lead on the Boston Red Sox, and the Atlanta Braves, who should be America's team, are taking on the Super Team Dodgers and are leading by 3-2. And on to the NHL. The not-so-hometown Blues are looking good in the forward department, but when it comes to defensemen, they're a bit suspect. Hopefully, top 10 goalie Jordan Bennington will be able to hide the flaws of their weak defenseman group. The Seattle Kraken got their first win in only their second game in franchise history against the Nashville Predators of a score of 4-3. to three. Ryan Donato got their first goal in franchise history in their first game, which they lost, but it's a big accomplishment. And on to some NBA news. The Milwaukee Bucks received their rings from their 2021 NBA championship, and later that night they beat the Brooklyn Nets powerhouse um, the Nets are confirmed to be playing this season without Kyrie Irving, but they did get James Harden back from his injury last season. Uh, and now the Bucks are one and one. They played their second game. Uh, the Brooklyn Nets, like I said, they're without Kyrie Irving, and they are 0 and one. They get to play again. Uh, the Chicago Bulls won their first game. They only put up 96 points, but they made some great additions over the off season with Demar Derozan. Uh, Alex Caruso, and Lonzo Ball. Uh, and the Los Angeles Lakers uh, came off their not-so-great season in 2021 after the 2020 championship. Uh, they made some great additions with Russell Westbrook, Carmelo Anthony, uh, and they uh, lost their first. Now we'll talk about the NFL. On to our game of the week, the Packers at Cardinals. What's your prediction for the game? I like the Packers in this game. I'm taking 32 to 30. Uh, Cardinals, they're undefeated, but I don't know. Aaron Rodgers is just, he's just a veteran. You can't pick over Aaron Rodgers. I absolutely agree. I'll also be taking the Packers of a score 28 to 24. I expect the Cardinals to be in the game till the very end, but yeah. I just frankly don't see them as the better team in this matchup. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Crunch Time. We'll see you all next week. Thank you. Post is having a canned food drive November 3rd through the 17th, so make sure that you donate canned food for harvesters. They're also having a spirit week that week, and that spirit week is Monday, Jersey Day, to Crazy Sock, Wednesday's Hat Day, Thursday's Wear Your Scrunchie, and Friday's when you finally donate that canned food. Make sure you donate. Your books are currently on sale in room 505. Be sure to purchase your yearbook from Ms. Kennedy for $70. And now let's hear a story about sports and mental health in GBHS. Basketball player Peyton Reed said he spends about an hour studying after school. Do you think that sports cut into your academic time? Yes. Um, do they hold you back from your academic performance? No. A man of not many words, he believes sports do not hold him back from his academic performance. Now let's get an insight on younger student athletes. How much time do you normally spend doing homework and studying? Probably 30 minutes a week. Soccer player Isaiah Johnson says he does not believe sports affect his academic performance. However, he does believe that some away games do cause longer nights. He then said how he manages both schoolwork and soccer. Let's get another perspective from a very similar student athlete. How much time do you spend doing homework and studying? Uh, more than I'd like. <laughs> okay. Like an hour and a half, maybe. A day? A day, yeah. Soccer player Campbell Childers says that he believes that sports cut into his academic time and add stress to his daily life. How do you manage to keep your grades up? Um, by asking my teachers questions and making sure I get the work done. We got all the guy student athletes who we interviewed together for a fun photo. While sports and getting an education may cut a lot into their personal time, they still always manage to have fun. We also wanted to see female viewpoints on being student athletes. I play uh, soccer, basketball, and tennis. How much time do you think you spend doing homework and studying? I would say I spend about an hour to an hour and 30 minutes uh, per night uh, trying to study on my way whenever I can. 
Emma Thiessen believes that sports do cut into her academic time. However, it's important to have a divide and balance between sports and academics. She then gives us her viewpoint on if sports add stress to her daily life. I definitely think they do. Um, working towards sports, uh, especially in school, working towards being on the varsity level, I think it's a big, important part of my daily life, and I think it does have uh, uh, instance on when it makes me a little stressed during the day. Let's get one last point of view from another student athlete. I do volleyball and I do track. How much time do you normally spend doing homework and studying? I study about like 20 minutes to an hour, depending on how I feel. Do you think that sports cut into your academic time? Sometimes it just really just depends on what I all have to do for a certain class. Like some of the times I might have a long project. Kelly believes that while sports do cut into her academics, it's important to find a perfect balance between sports and school. As you can see, there are many different viewpoints concerning athletes and if sports cut into their academic time. However, overall, the athletes' love of sports drives them to perform academically as well. This has been reporter Olivia Dixon and camera girl Haley Jennings reporting for GVTV. Talking about mental health, let's go in and see a new furry friend that we'll have around Green Valley. This is Harold, a new service dog that is coming to Green Valley High School. We interviewed Ms. Leah Rothmeyer, his handler, to learn more about Harold. Um, Harold is going to be the service dog for the high school, and he will be staying in the library. His job will be to help students to uh, become regulated, and that just means to help students become calm and be able to focus on their ac um, activities and their academics. He will stay in the library most of the time, but you will also um, have an opportunity to um, earn time for Harold to come visit classrooms. He will be able to work with the counselors and with the um, principals to walk around the building and to go into classrooms as well. The concept of having service dogs in school isn't a relatively new thing. We asked student Clara tomorrow about her experiences with service dogs in school. Um, my experiences with service dogs are good. We had um, a service dog at the Grand Valley North North School when I was in North School and they still have one. And my thoughts on it, on having one at our school is great because uh, it helps like students relax and focus better on their assignments and work. Harold will hopefully be joining us by the end of the semester. I'm Bailey Mason, my cameraman Clara. Thank you for watching GVTV. Thanks, you guys. We can't wait to see that little guy around GVHS. That's it for this week's Eagle News, and make sure to follow us on all of our socials at GVHS Eagle Media. I'm Jenna Peoples. And I'm Chloe Kilday. And we'll see you next week.